Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a project that I've been wanting to do for some time is replace the uh, temperature controlled crystal oscillator in this frequency counter that is uh, of a 1972 vintage. Uh, the reason why I'm, I'm going to replace it and here it is right here is that um, the adjustment inside is turned all the way down to get it on frequency and it's still five hertz high so it may not sound like a lot but uh, i wanted to go ahead and replace it with um, one of the newer type um, oscillators uh, which i have right down here and uh, it is a one megahertz uh, tcxo oscillator and this one is also one megahertz so um this frequency counter is very nice. It goes to 600 megahertz, and it's been in uh, the family for quite a number of years. It was in my father's broadcast stations so that he could do monthly uh, frequency measurements of the carrier frequencies of his uh, AM and FM station. Okay, so, and, and again, this one, I put a note here. It says, I can't calibrate the TCXO adjustment is uh, at the limit and it has a reading that is five hertz high. So rather than try and open this up, uh, like I saw in a video, a YouTube video, a very excellent video, opening one up and uh, the gentleman put a padding capacitor in it and brought it into spec, I uh, just decided to go ahead and purchase this for $7.95 on AliExpress, this one megahertz oscillator that is um, boasting uh, pretty good accuracy and a pretty good parts per million life in a year average in a year and uh, I think we'll just give it a try can't can't lose so I have it hooked up right now it's uh, 5 volts it's drawing 10 milliamps and I have my other frequency counter that I just calibrated with WWV uh, with a secondary standard I have in in my uh, in my lab and you can see uh, it's saying it's uh, six tenths of a cycle or a hertz low, just six tenths. Now, I don't know for sure if this uh, frequency counter that you're looking at right now is 100% um, accurate, and I don't know if this is either. So, but I know that it's closer uh, than, the, uh, uh, than the old one here. So let's, uh, let's take a look. Oh, let's first of all, let's show you the waveform. It's a square wave. And um, it looks pretty nice. Let's put it up here. Take a look. There's the square wave. And it's showing about uh, 5.16 volts. Very steady. And even my uh, frequency meter says it's exactly 1.0 megahertz. And uh, of course, it doesn't carry it out too far in digits. But uh, but it is a nice looking square wave. I like that. So let's go back to the counter. I'm on 0.1 hertz resolution. So it takes a little while for this counter to sync up. So in the meantime, this has been turned. This has been powered up, 15 volts. And on the other side here, we got 15.2. Draws 20 milliampers. And so let's go ahead and move the uh, probe over here. And let's see what the waveform looks like. So. Okay, it's all hooked up here. Let's uh, take a look at the uh, counter. And it looks like uh, here we see it is uh, producing a frequency that is about 4 hertz low. That's what the adjustment here turned all the way uh, to its stop to bring it to 1 megahertz. It just doesn't quite make it. So that's the reason why I wanted to uh, replace it with this one here. So, well, we'll take one uh, look here at the waveform. So I don't knock everything over. Okay, it, uh, it's attempting to do a square wave. Um, it works, no problem with that. Uh, not as nice as the, the newer one, but it's there. And it's uh, 4.72 volts. Um, peak to peak. We're going to install this now in the uh, frequency counter. By the way, this is a Heath Schlumberger uh, frequency counter. Uh, it is a 
model SM110B. SM110B also was produced under the Weston Instruments uh, name. Uh, not too many of them out there. So I mounted it on this perf board, and it's going to go back here where the other one was at. You see these two um, standoffs. I put those standoffs in there. Those are the original mounting uh, holes for the uh, studs on the uh, on the other oscillator. So I just put those standoffs in there. Made a little perf board, and that is going to mount here, right on top. Well, when we get some screws in it, it'll so that'll mount in here on top, and then uh, we'll see. We'll wire everything up, see how it goes. So that's it for now. If you tune back uh, for part two, we'll take a look and see uh, what the performance looks like with this uh, old frequency counter, vintage 1972. Thanks for watching. See you on part two. And please subscribe. And as always, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you.